Hey DataFlow fans, real quick video today on using Power Query inside of ADF. Uh, Power Query and ADF provides a really powerful data wrangling and data prep capability for you where you see your, your data first and then you apply your steps to transform that data and to prep it. And then when you execute this Power Query from your activity, uh, pipeline activity, what's going to happen is we will transform that on the fly into a data flow behind the scenes so you can execute at scale and spark using um, Azure Data Factory. So what I want to talk to you today about using this is specifically around how to convert uh, date time fields. Date time columns in EDF uh, Power Query integration is a little bit different than you may be familiar with in terms of Power Query if you're using it in Power BI or Excel because the concept of ADF being a cloud uh, provided service, there's not an assumption made about locale or uh, the time zone that you're in for your uh, date uh, uh, time fields. These columns, when you convert them, they can run in the lake, uh, you know, essentially in any Azure region or data center. And so you need to specify the intent of the formatting for those date times that you wish to apply to your data wrangling data flows. All right, so that being said, let me show you what to do. In this case, I have taxi data as my source. Everything is a string type. It's a, it's a uh, text set of data because this is a CSV text limited file. So I need to convert my pickup date time from string into date time. So the first thing I do is I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say change type to date time. Makes total sense, right? Now, when you do that, what's going to happen is it's going to say that that is not supported to do that. And that's because you need to also additionally provide your intent for the date format. So what you want to do is click on the advanced editor and we'll go into the M for that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to change a transform column types into transform columns. We're going to use a different function. The second thing I'm going to do is add a parameter within that function for my formatting. Now, how to uh, the steps to do to do this on your own is uh, in the documentation and i'll put a link directly to that part of the documentation that walks you through those steps okay so you can do this on your own i'm going to go right before the um time the type date time arguments and i'm going to add in i'm going to paste in and then i'll put another comma for the third argument i'm going to use the uh, the each function that is going to then format the current, uh, every row essentially, it's going to say for every row, for each row, convert the format to yyyy-mm-dd, so on and so forth. Culture being set to uh, US. You have to add this piece right here and that's it. Now the, uh, the syntax for this is in the documentation and then you click OK. All right, once I do that, my message clears, my warning is gone and I'm good to go. So let me go ahead and save my taxi wrangle um, I'm going to add this to a pipeline just to execute this and we'll see how this works out. Okay, go to my power queries, uh, ta taxi wrangles right there, we'll drag it onto the design. And for the debug test, let's go ahead and add a sync to this. I'm just going to put this into a folder in my storage and we'll output this to a single file so it's easy to find. We'll call this taxi test, uh, taxi pq test CSV. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and let's uh, debug this now. When I click debug, Data Factory is going to take that M script. It's going to convert that into Dataflow for me. And we'll execute this now at scale on Spark using the Azure integration runtime, which you see is set inside of the activity right here. So I can scale this out to you know very, very large sizes if I have a lot of data that is coming in for my data wrangling. Okay, let's let this cook for a minute, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the results. Okay, we are back. That succeeded. By the way, before I show you the results, a really cool thing that I want to show you is that the conversion from that uh, Power Query M into Dataflow and ADF uh, gives you then also all the detail around the partitioning and the time each step in your transformations take, um, and all that is available to you within the monitoring within ADF. So it gives you very rich insights into the execution of that uh, Power Query. And you can see that the it took 37 seconds to write the file, it calculated 50,000 rows, created two partitions. Okay, so let's look at the results now and uh, just realize that the file is larger than I can show you on the screen. So I had to download it. Okay, there you go. So there is the column for the um, date time that we converted and it did convert correctly. And that is how you will do that within Power Query. Thanks for watching.